David Hemingway joined the Army three weeks before 9-11. Hemingway, now a chief warrant officer and nearing the end of his military service, was in basic training at Fort Sill when the planes hit. We got pulled out of the, the typical training of, of what was happening for basic training, brought to an assembly area, told what was happening, and told there's a chance we might be done training and to get ready to, to, to deploy and go to war. That moment would mark two decades of deployments and a deep respect for those who donned the nation's uniform in response to the attacks. So it was a very awkward time to be in basic training and being introduced to the Army but it's the beginning of an absolutely amazing career where everybody literally within two weeks, junior to me, joined the Army after these attacks of 9-11. And I've worked with warfighters for 20 years that chose to be here in a time of war, and it's been the most rewarding experience I could have imagined it to be. Hemingway, who's originally from New York, has an uncle who drove a fire truck and responded on 9-11. Hemingway originally joined the Army to pay for tuition. I joined the Army to pay for law school. Hands down, you know, all the patriotism and love of country aside, as an 18-year-old, I chose to enlist in the Army for college money. Um, that couldn't have changed anymore after September 11th, right? It's now 20 years later and I'm still here. He says the impact of those who joined after 9-11 will continue after he retires. We absolutely saw a change in the dedication and the, the commitment of soldiers that came in. Hemingway recalled one young soldier who couldn't deploy with his unit because he had a cast on his arm. The next day he came into work without a cast on his arm. They were there for the right reasons. They were seeking opportunities to deploy. As his career winds down, Hemingway knows one thing remains true. Our actions as a nation after 9-11 have deterred another attack similar to 9-11 on American soil. For KOCL 5, I'm Jason Hackett.